what is up you guys this is gonna be a tutorial on how to do this Valdez um effect who on instagram is like a popular videographer and he's also sam colder's best friend i believe um i got a comment requesting this video so here it is so i have my clip right here and the first thing I want to do is I want to command D to duplicate the clip. Okay, so I'm going to put effect on the bottom clip. So I'm going to click on that clip and then I'm going to go to effects and presets and search up turbulent displace and then put that on our bottom clip. And then I'm just going to turn the eyeball off for the f top clip first. So as you can see, it kind of already has um, this warping effect on it. So I'm going to make it go back to zero. Then I'm going to set a keyframe button. And then I'm going to go a couple frames down to I want the effect to happen. And then make it go up to about 52. Um, you can go more if you want, but I'm just going to go there. And then go a couple frames forward again and go back to zero. So if you watch it, you can kind of see the warping effect going on. And then maybe I want to do it again later in this clip. So I'm going to... Press U for that bottom clip so I can see all my keyframes and then I'm going to make a keyframe and then I'm going to go a couple frames forward and then I'm going to drag that amount up to about 44 and then go back to zero a couple frames forward and then you can spread out the keyframes. So you can kind of see the warping effect going on right here. So now I'm going to search up effects and presets and then I'm going to put extract on top clip. Um, so right now there's nothing going on in this clip, but if we set the white point down to any number, you can see like a bit of the back kind of extracting, I don't know, you can kind of see like both clips a bit. So if I set a number somewhere in the middle, you'll only see the effect happening where the warp happens on the bottom clip because they're both the same clip, but once... A positioning or scale happens on the bottom clip then you'll see some of that extract effect going on and then you can also spread out the keyframes so if you don't want that extract thing I don't really like it that much but I don't know he uses it I'm gonna turn off the eyeball off so you can see it without it and I like the warping effect it looks really cool and then you can kind of adjust the extract number to whatever you like yeah it's up to your preference so I'm gonna show you another way you can um, use this tool. So I'm just going to command D and duplicate my two clips again so I could show you a different way. So I'm actually going to just bring my um, second clip of this one up to the front and then I'm going to command C to copy extract from my second clip and then I'm going to delete it and then I'm going to go to my top clip and paste it on. So you can kind of see the same effect going on. Okay, now I'm going to go to my top clip and press U so I can see all the keyframes. And then I'm going to try to line it up and make the scale match this keyframe for the bottom clip. So I'm going to go to my bottom clip and then I'm going to press S for scale. And then where this keyframe happens, I'm going to press the keyframe button for my second clip. And then I'm going to go a couple frames forward and then change the scale up to about 121 and go back to 100. So if we watch it back, the effect is a more way more apparent. What you can also do is um, you can duplicate your top clip and then go to effects and presets. And I have a preset already for the red channel. Um, but basically, I'm just going to put it on my top clip. And it basically has the set channels, but only for red. Okay, I'm just going to do this effect already. Um, I changed the color to purplish. And I'm going to link a tutorial in the description um, to where you can figure out how to do the set channels thing. But I kind of made a lot of tutorials on this already. So yeah, I'll just link it in the description if you don't know how to uh, set the channel to this color. So right now you can see it has like a pur purplish tint to it. But what if you don't want it happening throughout the entire clip? Well, we can go to our first clip, which was our duplicate layer with the set channels, and we could set the opacity to zero um, where that effect starts. And then I'm going to go to 100 on my second keyframe because I could see the keyframe markings on the top to where the effect is going on. And then I'm going to go forward to our last keyframe and I'm going to set the opacity back down to zero. So now you can see the effect. The red tint is like going on only while extract is going on. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.